All right, let's go over what we're using today. So we have our two gliders as usual. We don't need those right away. Set those off to the side. And we've got our hand weights or a set of any weighted items. We are gonna use those right away. So let's go ahead and grab them. We're gonna start with just hands at the chest, a slightly wider than hip distance stance, toes slightly turned out. We're gonna take a nice deep squat. And down. we're gonna add some arms onto this in just a moment, but just get that squat going. Really sitting low, nice. And down, we're gonna add some arms. So we're gonna stay in front of the chest as we squat. Then as you stand up, give a little press back. Pull them right back in front of the chest as you squat down. And then just a little press back. And down. And press back. And down, good. And press back. 15 more seconds here, we're gonna change those arms again, but that squat stays the same. Whew. Really sitting that tailbone down, getting low, getting that depth. Give me one more squat here with those arms. We'll change the arms on the next one. They come back in front of the chest for the squat, and then they open out to a T as you stand. Just unfolding the arms, fold them right back into the chest to squat. Unfold, reach it open. Keep those shoulders down out of the ears. That's it. And open. And down. And open. Nice, 20 more seconds here. We're gonna turn it to the right side. We're gonna take it into a split squat. Whew. We're down to 10 seconds left here for this squat. Nice and slow, getting low, getting that bottom in line with those kneecaps if that feels okay for your knees. And stand it all the way up. Pull those hands into the shoulders, turn to the side. So that back left heel is lifted, front right heel is down. Let's just hold the arms at the shoulders while we get the movement into place. Deep split squat, and up, and down, and up, good, low. Let's add the arms. As you come down in the lower body, you're gonna send one arm overhead. Bring it back in, send the other arm overhead. So an alternating hammer press here, and push. Whew, those palms are facing each other. And this is it, no add-ons, no variations. Nice and simple. Not necessarily easy, but simple. Nothing fancy. Whew. Down and lift. 20 more seconds here. We're gonna take it back to center, taking a sumo squat stance. So legs will be a little bit wider than before in that previous squat. Toes will be turned out. Heels will point towards each other. Here we go, bring it up, turn it out. Wide, wide stance here. Take those hands in front of the chest to begin. And coming down, and up, and down. Let's add those arms in, reach those arms forward. You're gonna come down as you stand up, pull open to that T. And down, and open, and low. Now, if that's too much on the shoulders or it's straining your elbows, I want you to fold in and open, just like we did before. And open. Otherwise, close it up. And open. And close. And open. Full range. And again, no changes, no add-ons, no variations. Ooh, keeping it classic. Focus on that form. Press those knees out over the feet. Ooh, think about spinning the inner thighs, the upper leg bones open to the ceiling. Squeeze your bottom as you stand. Shoulders stay right over those hips. 15 more seconds here. We turn it to that left side for that same split squat. We're taking it back to that alternating hammer press. Ooh, less than 10 seconds. Get low, get that full squat. We have time for just one more. Whew, let's finish strong. Whew, bring it down. Turn it to that left side. That back right heel is lifted. Hands to the shoulders again. We come low. Whew, and, whew, and just come up. Let's focus on that lower body movement. I got ahead of myself. Whew, and up. As you come down, one arm presses up. And 
bring it back in. As you come down, other arm presses up. And bring it back in. Good. And in. And again, this is it. Focus on that form. Get that 90 degrees in both legs. Good. Get low. Trying to tap that right knee on the floor. No weight comes down. Get it low, as low as you can get. Good. Yes. Whew, nice, slow, controlled movements. Nothing fast, nothing explosive. Whew. Yes. We have 10 more seconds here. That's all you have to give me. We turn back, we take that sumo squat stance once again. That wide stance, toes turned out, heels towards each other. One more here, please. Whew. And up. Take it back to center. Find that squat again. Hands come in front of the chest to begin. We're going to come low. Take little pulses. That's the movement of the lower body. Now we're going to take little heel lifts. Right heel lifts, pulse it down. Heel comes down, pulse it down. Left heel, pulse. Lower, pulse. Right. And down. So a little pulse with each movement. Yes. Whew. Good, keep pressing those knees open. You should be feeling those inner thighs here. Whew. Yes. 15 seconds left here with this heel lift. We keep both heels down. We have a static hold with that squat. Whew, just enough time for one more time each side. Here we go. Now both heels down, hold that static squat. Reach the arms low, palms face each other. Reach all the way up overhead, open all the way up overhead, and down. Lift, and open, up, and down, and lift, open, up, bring it down, Whew. open, nice, hold the next one open in that T for me, and open, turn the palms forward, take a hug in front, and open, close it up, and open, and close, and open, Whew. and open, 15 more seconds here, we put it all together, see if you can get lower in that lower body, maybe just half an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe it's just a thought, keep breathing, Whew. five more seconds, Whew. we have time for just one more, hold those arms open when you get there, palms face the ceiling, bring it up overhead, bring it down, lift up, open out, turn the palms forward for that hug, Open out, lift up, bring it down, lift forward and up, open, hug, and open, overhead, down, overhead, nice, hug, and open, good, up overhead, and down, one more time, up, open, hug, open, give me one more lift up overhead, and bring it all the way down. Perfect, we're gonna hang on to those weights. I want you to grab one single glider. Whew. So, we're gonna have the right foot on the mat. Left foot goes on that glider. We're coming to that turned out position again. Legs are gonna stay straight here. I want you to open your arms to a T. And then as you slide out on that left leg, arms come in front and slide it back in and out. So we're taking our weight evenly between those legs. And squeeze, good. And squeeze, rather than trying to lean off to one side to get that squeeze. Of course, if those arms are starting to tuck, fold it in, open it out, or hold those arms in front of the chest the whole time, and squeeze. 10 seconds here, your choice, and open. And close here, yes, there it is. And open, and close, and open. Hold it here, we're gonna drop down into that sumo squat. Bring it down, and bring it open. Again, feel free to bring arms here. And open, and down, and open. 15 seconds. Whew. Now it's 10, 
How are those arms doing? Whew. How are those inner thighs doing? Whew. Press those knees open. Four, three, two. Hold it here. We are going to turn to parallel. Light touch on that glider with those toes. We take it into a side lunge here. Just hang the arms low to begin. Coming low in that right leg. And then coming slowly back up to the top. Do it again. We're going to add arms at the top on the next one. They're going to hang low here. Whew. You're going to pause at the top. Hold it there. Lift the arms forward. Bring it down. So we're going to come all the way up before we add that front raise. And lift. Forward. Bring it down. That's it. And lift. Hold it at the top. Nice. Now if you can, when you come to that topmost point, I want you to pause right before that right leg goes straight. And lift. Bring it down. And lower. Whew. Last one like this, and we're going to add on at the bottom in that lunge. Here we go. We're going to keep everything else that we have. Hold it here. Turn the palms forward. Skate that left leg in. Give me a bicep curl with that skate. Bring it back out. Come all the way back up. Palms come back facing each other. Hold it at the top. Lift the arms forward. Bring it down. Whew, take that slow lunge. Hold at the bottom. Palms come forward. Bicep curl with that single skate. Light touch on that glider. And lift it forward here. Nice. Whew. And down. We've got 15 more seconds left for this single skate. And then we hold it at the bottom and we're going to skate it out to finish. So it will be a static hold in that right leg. Whew. We've got just enough time for this last one like this. Whew. Hold it at the top. Give me that front raise again. Whew. Here we go. This one stays at the bottom. Static hold in that right leg. Skate it out to finish. Of course, if those arms are too much, hold those hands in front of your chest. And in. And in. Yes, we're almost there. Ten more seconds here. We're going to finish strong. Coming all the way to the top with that front raise to finish. Hold that left leg straight here. Turn those palms back to facing each other. See if you can come lower in that right leg before we bring it up to the top. Here we go. Up to the top. Four counts. Four. Three, two, hold it here. One more front raise and bring it down. Nice. We take a um, flat foot stance on that glider here. Pull hands in front of the chest and we're going to slide out to a parallel squat here and then slide back in. Slide out, drop down. So that same movement we did turned out. Whew. Good. Bring it down. Nice. Let's add some arms. Hands come to the shoulders. You're going to slide out. I want you to see if you can tap your knees with those elbows here in that squat. As you come back in, you're going to push to the ceiling. Bring those hands back to the shoulders. Tap your knees with those elbows if you can. Pull everything back in. Press. And bring it down low. And press. Bring it down low. And press. That's it. And this is it. It's a nice, simple one. No add-ons. No variations. I want you to focus on that nice, slow pace. That form. That depth. Finding that deep squat. Keeping your weight equal between your legs. In all parts of the movement. Whew, we have 15 more seconds here. 15 more seconds here. Whew. Less than 10. Stay with me. Stay strong. Whew. It's a little break for that right leg. Equalizing that weight between those legs. And up. Hold it here. We're going to turn those legs out again. So heels towards each other, toes away from each other. Light touch on that glider with the ball of the left foot. Hold those hands in front of the chest to begin. We'll get that lower body into place first. 
Bring that left leg forward just a little bit. And then you're gonna bend in to that right leg. Take that left leg behind you. Bring it up, take it back forward. And bend, it's like a single leg squat here. And up, and down. Now you're welcome to stay here with this movement if that's feeling good to you. And up, if you wanna add some arms, bring those arms here like a robot. Whew. And we're gonna take a lift and bring it in. So as you stand up, those arms come back in. As you sweep that leg back, lifting up, we're coming long through the body. One long line from the head to that back left foot. Bring it in. And slow, find that control. And down. Whew. Whew. Making sure that right knee is reaching right over the foot. Weight into that right heel. Whew. There it is. And up. Whew. We have 15 more seconds here. Just really getting into that right leg. And up, yes. Whew. Keep breathing, belly pulling tight, shoulders down. Whew. If you can't keep those shoulders down, take those arms out of it. And bring it all the way to the top. Nice job, hang on to those weights. I want you to grab that second glider. We're gonna be using both. Whew. So carefully, bring yourself onto both gliders. Whew. We are gonna be sliding out once again with that left leg. So the right leg is gonna stay stationary for the most part. Bring your arms low, palms face each other. You're gonna slide out, drop into a sumo squat. Turn the palms forward, hold it there for one bicep curl, and then slide everything back in. Nice. If you wanna add some arms at the top as well, we hold it here in that deep squat, one bicep curl. As you come back in, lift open to a T. Arms are always optional. So we're rotating through those arms as we move through those two movements. And it's nice and slow, I'm holding here. Then I take that bicep curl, bring it in, lift it up, slide it out, bring it down, bicep curl, bring it in, and up. Whew. We're gonna change it up in just a moment. Whew, so enjoy this variation. And of course, if the next variation is not feeling okay to you, I want you to stay here. Whew. All right, next time we're gonna add on just a little bit at the bottom. Here we go. Same thing as before, drop down. Take that bicep curl for me. Hold it here, swivel the legs parallel. Pull in with parallel legs, lifting those arms up to a T. Now I know that's a lot. We're gonna swivel open as we lower those arms back down. Whew, drop it down. Here's your bicep curl. Swivel to parallel, pull it back in, lift. Feel free to eliminate those arms. They come back down as we swivel back open. Slide it out. Ooh, a lot of moving parts on this one. Swivel, pull it in, lift. Bring it down, turn it back out. And down. And bicep curl, only 15 more seconds left here. Ooh, we got this. Ooh, back open, down. Take that bicep curl. Swivel to parallel. Lift up, give me one more time, just one more time. Drop it down, take that bicep curl. Whew, swivel all the way up and in. Nice job, let's set those gliders off to the side. Hang on to your hand weights for me. We're gonna take some upper body work here. So we're gonna come to a hip distance parallel position. Bend at the knees, hinge at the hips. Shoulders come forward over knees here. So we're gonna take some tricep presses. For the first one, I want you to turn your palms down, bend your elbows in, and then you're gonna press back. So here, palms face the ceiling. You bend in, palms face the floor. Tuck that upper arm, that elbow into your rib cage. Don't let it drift. Push, Whew. and push. Stretch through those arms. Belly tight, yes, and press, and press. Nice, Whew. 
We have 10 more seconds here. We're going to hold those arms straight and take some little pumps towards the ceiling. Think about them more as lifts. On the next one, those arms stay straight. Palms face the ceiling. Lift. And lift. And lift. Belly tight. And up. And lift. That's it. And up. Good. Nice. Three, two, and one. Bring the arms down. Tuck the elbows in again. This time, palms face each other. Same thing. Press back first. And in. And press. Whew, same movement. Different rotation here. Chest up. Belly tight. Whew. Now, if this position does not feel okay, I want you to take it back to that first one. Always find to make those changes for yourself. Whew. You find what's working best for you today. 10 seconds to go here. Yes. Whew. Breathe through it. Five, four, three. Hold those arms straight. Lifts. Lift. Now we want to stay out of that bounce, right? It's not fast. It's a lift. Small release. And a lift. Lift. Whew. Nice. We've got one more set after this one. We're going to change that rotation one more time. Whew, less than 10 seconds to go here. Then we got one more set coming up. That's it. Keep breathing. Yes, and bring it down. This time, come to a position like you're holding a tray. So the palms face up here. Elbows and biceps are tucked into the side and pressing back. Palms face the floor and palms face the ceiling. So it's the exact opposite of the first set we did. And press. Whew. And press. This is our last set. Finish strong. You're always welcome to come back to a previous variation. If those felt better. Whew. Yes, 10 more seconds left here. We've got those pumps, those lifts coming up. There it is. And hold this one straight. Hold. Little lift. Last set. Keep breathing. Whew. Work through those arms. Pull that belly tight. Shoulders out of the ears as best you can. 10 more seconds left here. And lift. And lift. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Beautiful. Nice job. Set those weights down for now. We're going to grab one glider. It's going to go underneath the right foot. Hands go on the mat or the floor. Follow the foot on the glider. That left foot is just on the floor. High plank, you're always welcome to come down onto forearms for this. We're going to sweep that right leg out to the side, pulling it as far up towards your shoulder as you can, as far up towards the mat. Bring it back down. There's your regular plank. And then sweep it through. Crisscross those legs here. Get a little twist in those hips. Find that high plank again. And sweep out to the side. Square it off. And sweep it through. Crisscross. And back. And out. Bring it back. And crisscross. So this sweeping movement's like a windshield wiper. Reach it open. Bring it back. Sweep it through. Square it off. Nice and slow and controlled. Yes. Push that floor away. Do a check-in on those shoulders, on those arms for me. Do a check-in on your back, on your belly. Are you starting to sink into that lower back? Whew. Do you have that strong, strong plank? Whew. We have 15 more seconds here. 15 more seconds here. Yes. There it is. Whew. And cross five more seconds. Sweep. And back. And cross. And finish in that plank. Hold it high. Pull the belly in and bring those knees down. Nice. We're going to grab that second glider as well. We come onto the back, on the mat, one foot on each glider. We want to make sure that the heel is firmly planted on that glider. Toes can absolutely be off. Find your way onto your back, and we're going to lift on up into a high bridge here. Whew. 
So right away, you should be feeling those hamstrings, just keeping those gliders into place. And then we're gonna send the right leg out. And then pull it back in underneath you. Send that left leg out. And pull it back in. And then send the right leg out. Staying nice and still in the rest of the body. And the left. And pull it back in, that's it. And in. And reach. And in. And in. Good. Now hold it here. Lower those hips so they're barely off the mat. Send that right leg out, and as it starts to come back in, send that left leg out. It's like a little walk. And out. And switch. Hips are barely off the floor. No weight down onto the floor. Whew. Keep pulling that belly in. Keep that back nice and long. Staying out of that lower back arch. And in, yes. And reach. And reach. That's it. We have 15 more seconds here. Whew. Less than 10. Whew. Keep it going, keep it strong. Whew. Dig down into those gliders. Three, two, hold one leg in, drag that other leg in and bring it down. Nice, press yourself up, hang onto one of those gliders. You can set the other one off to the side. We're gonna grab our weights again. All right, this time that glider goes underneath the right foot. We're gonna start turned out, heels towards each other, toes apart. Pull those hands in front of the chest to begin. And we're gonna slide out, taking our weight evenly between the legs and pull it back in. And out. And squeeze it back in. Whew. And options for the arms. So as you slide out, those hands can stay in front of the chest. As you pull it back in, you can unfold. If you wanna take it up a level, hold those arms straight, close them in front, and open. If those shoulders are feeling okay, and open, there it is. Zip those inner thighs. Yes. Five more seconds, we add that squat on that slide out. Whew, here we go. Next one, drop down into that squat. Zip it back up and in. Again, feel free to fold those arms in and unfold as you come up. Whatever is feeling best for you today. Whew. Both are fine. Spin those inner thighs open. Press those knees out over those feet. Whew. And close, shoulders down. Whew, I know, easier said than done. We have 10 more seconds here. 10 more seconds here. Those shoulders will get just a little rest. Three, two, and one. We're gonna take a light touch on that glider with the right foot. We're turning to a parallel position. Arms hang low. And we're gonna take a deep lunge into that left leg and then driving it up. Whew. Little pause at the top. See if you can come just to 90% extension in that left leg. Bring it down again. We'll add on at the top on the next one. Whew. We pause at the top, hold it here for that front raise, that lift forward. Whew. And then down again, sinking it low. Drive it up, press into that left heel, Little pause at the top and lift. So we're not synchronizing that lift with that stand, with that rise to the top. Whew, we're taking a little moment there, keeping that work in that left leg. Whew, keeping that soft bend. Whew, yes. We've got just one more here. And then we hold it at the bottom, adding on that single skate at the bottom, in that lunge. Whew. One more, just like this, and lift. Bring it down. All right, hold this next one at the bottom. Turn your palms forward. Take that single skate in with that right leg, with that bicep curl. Send it back out. I'm gonna rotate my palms back to each other. Drive it up, 
and then lift to finish it off and then bring it down palms face forward for that bicep curl send it back out turn the palms back to each other drive it up to the top Whew, so nice and slow so nice and controlled Whew. and in turn it back and lift to finish it off there it is down only 10 more seconds here for this variation and then we're going to hold it low just staying low in that left leg for that skate we'll skate it out to finish here we go we stay low in this left leg now just that skate with that right leg with that bicep curl that's where it is Whew. Whew, how's that left leg doing? Mine is starting to talk. It is lighting up. I'm feeling that burn. Whew, starting to feel that tremble, that shake. So good. 10 seconds. Again, we're going to finish with that front raise at the top to finish this set off nice and strong. Whew, send that right leg out. Hold it on the next one. Turn those palms back facing each other. See if you can come down just a little bit lower in that left leg before we drive it to the top. Four counts up to the top. Four three slow slow give me that front raise to finish it off nice let's turn those legs out here so we're gonna swing that right leg forward let's get that lower body movement into place first make sure you have room behind you for that sweep we're gonna bend into that left leg as we sweep that right leg back behind drive up through that left leg as we sweep that leg forward again Let's do it again before we add on those arms and drive it up. If you want to add arms on, we're going to pull those arms in like a robot. And as you take that bend with that sweep, you're going to lift up one long line from the head to that back right foot and then all the way up. And this is it. No variations, no add-ons, no changes at all. Focus on that form. Focus on keeping alignment through that left leg. Whew. Watch where that knee is going. Whew, that's it. And of course, if those arms are kind of getting in the way of that movement, if they're throwing off your balance, I want you to hold them in front of your chest. I want you to eliminate that upper body movement. Yes. That's it. All right. We have 15 more seconds here. Whew. Nice. And sweep. And up. Good. Good. Nice. And down. And lift. From here, we're going to put that whole foot down onto the glider again. We come back to a parallel position. Hands in front of the chest to begin. We're gonna slide out, drop down into that deep squat, and then pulling it up and in. And then slide out, drop down into that deep squat, and pull it up and in. Yes, and low, and bringing it in. Let's add those arms. Hands come to the shoulders. We drop it down, tap the elbows on those knees, push it up overhead as you slide it in. Drop it down and up. Drop it down and up. Yes. Whew. And press it up. This is it. No changes, no add ons. Whew. Whew. See if you can tap, get that depth. We have 20 more seconds here. 20 more seconds to go. And press, good. And press, we're down to five. It's going by fast. And all the way up and in. Hang on to those weights. Hang on to that glider and grab that second glider as well. Carefully bring yourself all the way onto them with both feet. Whole foot is onto them. So we start 
Turn down. Arms hang low. You're going to slide out, drop into that deep squat. Hold it there for a bicep curl. And then bring it up and in. Nice. And slide out. Drop it down. Hold there. Bicep curl. Now, if you want to add those arms on that slide back in, arms lift to a T. And sliding out. Drop it down. Hold it for that bicep curl. And slide it in. Lift to your T. Whew, and this is where we'll start. Whew. And bring it in. Lift to your T. Nice. Slide it out. Drop it down. Bicep curl. And in. And lift. Whew. One more here. Then we're going to add on that swivel. Whew. Bring it in. And lift. Here we go. Drop it down. Hold there for that bicep curl. Everything's the same so far. Now hold here. Swivel to parallel. Pull in. Lift to your T. Drop those arms as you turn it back out. Slide it out. Hold. Bicep curl. Swivel. Pull it back in. Lift. Arms come down as you swivel back out. And drop it down. And bicep curl. Swivel. Bring it in. Lift those arms. They come down as you swivel back out. 15 seconds. Bicep curl. Swivel. Bring it in. Lift it up. We have time for just one more. Turn it out. Slide it out. Drop it down. Bicep curl. Swivel to parallel. Bring it in. One more. Lift up. Perfect. From here, let's set those gliders off to the side. I want you to hang on to those weights. We've got some upper body work again. So we're going to find that hip distance parallel position. Little bend into those knees. Little hinge at those hips. From here, palms face you. And we're going to pull wide. Squeeze the shoulder blades. And down. And pull. And down. Belly pulling tight. Back flat. And pull. And down. And lift. Whew. Five, four, three, two, hold it here. Turn those palms in to face each other. Lift open and down. Lift open and down. Nice and slow in both directions so we don't fling those arms up. And lift. Bring it down. And up. Whew. Only five more seconds here. We take it back to those rows. Here we go. We're going to keep those palms facing each other just as they are. And pull. And release. And pull. And release. And squeeze. And squeeze. And squeeze. Good. And pull. Whew. Yes. Ten more seconds here. We're going to keep this rotation. Keep those palms facing each other. Whew. We're going to take it back to that delt raise, that delt fly. Here we go. Hold it here. Lift. And down. And lift. And lift. Nice and slow. And up. Yes. Ten more seconds here. We've got one more set to go. We're going to change that rotation for those rows. For that last set. One more here. Hold it here, turn those palms forward, and pull. Release, yes. And release. Whew. Whew. Belly tight, shoulders down, squeeze those shoulder blades. Yes. Whew. Less than 10 seconds here. We're going to turn those palms back to face each other. For that lift, here we go. Palms back to facing each other, lift. And down. Lift. And up. And down. Good. Lift. That's it. Nice. Five seconds. Whew. And bring it down. Let's set those weights off to the side. We're grabbing a single glider. Again, just one glider. It's going to go underneath that left foot. 
Coming into a high plank. Whew. We've got that windshield wiper movement. You're gonna sweep that leg out to the side. Bring it back. Crisscross those legs, a little twist in those hips. Square it off. Sweep. Whew. And then across. And back. Sweep. Whew. And cross, yes. Whew. Getting into that left oblique. And sweep. And cross. We're almost there. We have got 15 more seconds here. We're going to hang on to that glider. And we're going to come down onto the mat. Seated. Yes, five, four, three, two, and finish off strong, squaring it off. Bring it down. You're going to flip yourself around so you're seated on your mat. Grab that glider. Heels go down onto the glider. And then we're going to come all the way down onto the floor. Shoulders lifted off. You're going to pull those knees in. Try to curl up a little bit higher. And then you're going to slide the legs away and twist to one side. I'm going to my left side first. Come through center. Try to lift higher. Send those legs away as you twist to the other side. Keep those shoulders lifted. Legs do not have to go all the way straight. Now, if you need a little rest for those shoulders, bring it down in the center rather than curling up higher. And as those legs reach away, twist. Otherwise, stay with me here, curling up higher through the center. And up. And lift. Yes. Ooh, less than 20 seconds left here. And send it out. And away. And in. Yes. Come back through center. Whew. Hold it here in the center. Send those legs out. Crunch them in just those legs. Whew, just 10 seconds here. And out. And in. One more. And in. Nice. Hold that curl. Keep the right leg on. Lift the left leg off. You're going to send the left leg away. And then kick it back up to the ceiling, splitting those legs. Hold that crunch the whole time. And lift. And reach away as you drag that glider in. And switch. Yes. Yes, 10 more seconds here. We're going to take that glider over to that left leg. And switch that movement. Whew, hold it here. Grab that glider with that left heel. See if you can stay in that curl as you make that transition. Send the right leg up to the ceiling. Send it out and down. And then kick it back up as you slide that left leg away. And in. And slide. And in. And reach. Whew. Holding that nice, strong curl. Yes. Nice. Less than 15 seconds left here. We've got a plank to finish. Awesome work. Whew. We're in the less than 10 home stretch. Three, two, and one. Nice. Hang onto that glider. Grab your other one as well. So we've got both. We're flipping it around again. Coming into a high plank. We've got some cross knee tucks coming up. So you're going to pull your left knee into your right elbow. A little twist in those hips. Square it off. Other side. And square it off. That's the movement. Stay there if that's feeling good to you. If you want to add on, if you want to take it up a level, hold it in for three, two, one. Send it back. Pulse it three, two, one. Send it back. Three, two, one. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Send it back. Pulse, pulse. Yes. Send it back. Pulse. Nice. We're down to 
15 seconds. Whew, keep breathing. Pulse and send it back. Three, two, one. Whew. Yes. Nice. One more time. Two, one. Bring it back. Finish in that strong plank. Feel it. And then bring those knees down so you're on hands and knees. Take it right into a cat cow. And stretch. Rather than kind of arching the back here, think about stretching out the front of your body. Allowing that back to arch. Tuck that tailbone under. And stretch. And scoop it under. And stretch. Nice. Good. I'm just going to get my gliders out of the way. Send them off to the side. Pop yourself up and then stretch it back. Upside down V, down dog. Whew. And then let's take that left leg through, finding a runner's lunge. Drop the hips, reach the chest forward. Shift it up and back, stretching into that left hamstring. Whew. Whew. Drop it down again. Find that plank. Find that stretch. And then bring the right leg through and forward. Make sure to walk it far enough forward so that knee is right over the ankle. Press those hips down. Reach through your back. Whew. Reach through that back left heel. Whew. You can rock back and forth if that feels good. Whew. And then shift it up and back. Whew. Drop it down again into your lunge. And then find that plank. One more stretch back. Whew. And then walk your hands in towards your legs. Whew, nice deep forward fold. And rolling it up, stacking the spine as you go. Whew, nice work. <laughs>